I'm Callie and today I am going to take you on a walk through Pagosa Springs. We're going to start on the river walk and then we're going to go on a little tour through the downtown shopping area and just walk through and check it out. I had big plans to do Elwood Pass and wound up getting stung by a black widow spider and had like, you know, low-key anaphylaxis. So that was what I did on Saturday. <laughs> Let me know, have you ever been bit by a black widow? It looks steamy. Yeah. There. I never good. noticed that before. Coming in behind the Root House coffee shop, and that's gonna spit us out from the river walk into the main shopping area down. Generally, you can find plenty of parking downtown. You just, you may have to drive a little bit, but it'll be a close walk for you to get onto the river walk or to get to the shopping area. So as you can see, we're spit out now into downtown. Did you touch it? Was it hot? It's very full. So here's water. If you don't want to walk down oh, and you just so want to pull hot. off and park, that is so hot. you can touch it right here, right off of downtown. So this is just our quaint little downtown. There's lots of little shops. Nothing that's going to take you hours and hours and hours to go through, but I do recommend the Froyo spot. I recommend it too. And I definitely recommend using the flags to cross the street because this is a highway. Here we are in the new statuary garden in Pagosa Springs because we had to get Froyo from the Froyo spot. It's our favorite place and it's right over there. And this new statuary garden just turned out so nice. And this is Memory Lane Antique Store. It's my favorite antique store.
parking. And you can see they've got picnic tables, benches set up everywhere in the shade so that you can rest, relax, and linger. There is some of the hot springs you can see right off of the highway, Highway 160. These are called the Hippie Dip, sometimes Nathan's Hippie Dip, sometimes Nathan's Hot Springs, uh, depending on who you talk to. There are three different hot springs that you can pay to get into here, but you can also just get in to the river where the hot springs naturally come up and they are free and you can park. There's bathrooms if you need to change. Um, but yeah, you can just get in for free. So if you're on a road trip and you've got kids um, and you feel like, oh, we weren't, we weren't prepared for this, it's okay. Um, they can just take their shoes off and get in up to their knees or run to Walmart, buy a cheapo bathing suit. You can just let them get in, let them splash. We had fun in the hot springs. Sam got to soak. He got to play with a bunch of little boys. There's always little kids this time of day, which is noon um, in the hot springs. In the evenings, there's more, more adults are out and about, but it's always very kid friendly in my opinion. Now we are heading back over across to the other side of the river where there is a playground locally known as the Pirate Ship Park, but I think technically known as Town Center Park. And on the other side of the river, there's also bathrooms if you need them. There is a rafter, there's lots of rafters. And you can check the river height. Um, I believe it's Pagosa Outside is a tube rental company. And they have the water levels. Sometimes it's too high and other times it's just perfect. And so you need to know, because you do not want to come if it's too high. So there's the playground, which offers some nice shady areas. And then you can come down here and there's picnic tables, some of which, depending on the time of day, or usually you can find one in the shade. And you can also access a nice shallow, smooth part of the river here. Thanks for coming with us today. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Pagosa Springs.